Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another episode of Transformation Tuesday. Today we are turning a Wild Mode brand ambassador t-shirt into a halter neck bodycon dress. But before that, remember to like this video, comment down below if you want to discuss anything about the transformation, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell, and if you're new here, hi. Lovely to meet you. So, a while ago, I did a transformation, it was my first ever transformation actually, where I turned a Marilyn Manson t-shirt into a off-the-shoulder Bardo style dress. Link up above, down in the description box. That video went down a storm. It was one of my most popular videos on here. Um, so I thought that I would do a similar thing to this, but with a completely different neckline. So this is a Wild Mode Ambassador t-shirt. If you don't know, I am a Wild Mode Pants Ambassador. Uh, they are a lovely company. They make bespoke handmade pants and uh, bra tops and t-shirts. Um, it's all about promoting body positivity, um, good mental health. They're just a wonderful company. Really, really wonderful people that work there. Love every one of them. Debs, their CEO and founder, is just She's just amazing, I love her. She is struggling with uh, a long-term illness as well. She is just wonderful. Uh, she started this and you know it has grown and grown, and rightly so, because they are wonderful pants. Um, and so she has got us these t-shirts. So she asked me what size, and I said, actually, I'm gonna do a transformation. Let's make another video. If you wanna watch the other video, link up above, down in the description, you can see me prancing about in pants. <laughs> still find that video really really difficult to watch because yeah <laughs> but there you are um but i'm going to turn this into a dress <laughs> so stay around watch the transformation with me so we have a t-shirt a ruler some very sharp material scissors and a piece of tailor's chalk or a sharpened piece of chalk or you could just use a white eyeliner so we're taking our scissors and we're making a tiny nick in the top of the sleeve on the inside of the seam, so we're cutting the seam off. We're gonna do that on both sides so there should be no excess seam fabric there. As you can see, I'm just snipping a bit off. Now I'm using the tailor's chalk to draw a sort of V-neck, a rounded V, which mirrors the heart on the front. Now I'm using the ruler to draw a straight line across and then a straight line up to the center of the collar. I'm gonna cut across the back and then straight up the middle. And this is what we'll use to make our halter neck. I'm going to make sure everything's nice and neat and matches up. And now I'm using the tailor's chalk to draw the rest of the halter neck shape. I'm trying to make sure that everything is symmetrical and matches up. Now I'm cutting it out very, very carefully. And it's better to keep it a little bit wide and trim a bit more off later than to cut too much off and be done with it. And I'm making sure that the top of the halter neck ends at the bottom of the sleeve. Now I'm using the dress that I made in the original Transformation Tuesday, the Bodycon Marilyn Manson dress, and I'm using that as a guide for the size that the sides need to be. So I'm marking that up so that I can overlock them out. I'm making sure everything matches up and I'm making sure that the armpits match up as well. Now I've pinned the sides down, I didn't bother filming that, it was really boring. Now, Okay, so I'm using the overlocker to overlock the edge of the fabric at the back. Now I'm using the cutting blade on the overlocker and I'm literally just cutting and sewing up the sides as I go. One side, flip it over and do the other side. You of course can just cut the sides and then sew them with a normal sewing machine or sew it by hand if you don't have an overlocker or a sewing machine. Well, having met all the maidens and masters, what do you think? I'm really chuffed, really, really chuffed. The neckline looks really, really sexy. You can see the scoop neck. I've managed to get the shape here around the top of the, the armpits I'm really pleased with. I'm quite pleased with, I mean, this was always gonna roll its jersey, but I think overlocking it has slightly stabilized it. I might put a little bit of um, stabilizing tape at the back there just to stop it doing it more, or even a little piece of elastic, but 
I'd need to uh, experiment with that. But I'm really pleased with the shape of it. It's, um, it's very sexy. It's quite short. <laughs> so I might, if I'm feeling a little self-conscious, get a little piece of uh, lace and sew it around the bottom. But um, I'm really chuffed with it. You know, it's, the Bardo one was cool, but this is slinkier. You know, and after all, it is body confidence cult. So, you know, you want to be uh, showing off your, uh, your curves, don't you? So I am really thrilled. I hope Deb, Deb is thrilled with it too. And all the other Wild Mode team. I, yeah, really, really chuffed. I hope that I have done the body confidence cult a service by uh, getting body confident in this. <laughs> it's definitely a lot more flattering and sexy than the original giant t-shirt so yeah I'm really chuffed. Well I thought I did a pretty good job. It looks pretty good on doesn't it as you've seen from the previous shots. I'm very impressed you know to turn it from a t-shirt into a body confident dress I'm very very pleased. Um, it just goes to show that with a little bit of knowledge you can knock up something that's you know pretty cool. I'm sure that Deb's, the, the CEO of Wild Mode, is wetting herself laughing at the quality of my overlocking, but she is a professional. I am very much an amateur, but it just goes to show that anybody can knock up something like this in, I mean, this literally took me a morning. It, it took me no time at all, to be honest. What took me the longest time was one of the threads snapped on the overlocker and it took me about 45 minutes to re-thread the damn thing. So, just goes to show. It's quick and easy. You could even do this by hand if you really wanted to, or you can get these little hand sewing machines. It's like a stapler, but um, it's it's a sewing machine. You can get those from Flying Tiger. So if you don't want to fork out on a big sewing machine, you can always pick yourself up one of those. And I got my daughter a little mini sewing machine, which even has an automatic button. So you just press it and it sews. And that was, I think, 35 quid off of Amazon for her birthday. So, you know, you don't need to spend the big bucks to be able to knock up your own stuff really easily out of band t-shirts stuff from the charity shop whatever i hope you enjoyed that transformation i really enjoyed doing it i really enjoyed doing it for you i hope you liked it like this video comment down below if you would like me to do more if you've got any comments about the dress you know i'd love to hear them what you think whether you would be doing one yourself subscribe to this channel if you haven't already hit that notification bell so you can find out every time i upload videos and remember people stay heavy